Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I want to talk about resonators and how I use them. Uh, this is one particular case. Uh, resonators is a little bit more of a versatile uh, effect and you can use them very aggressively. But here I've used it uh, very mildly and um, there's almost no difference between the dry sound and uh, the process sound. But it's still a very cool and very useful trick um, that you can do to just kind of give it a little bit more spice and make the sound a little bit better. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so for this example, what we're going to do is we're going to look at these stabs here that um, I've created. They're part of a whole sequence, so I'll play the sequence first so you can kind of get an idea how they sit in the, the context of the sequence. Um, so here is that. So that's the sequence that we have. Um, I'll leave those off for now because that's uh, delayed a lot. Um, but these steps serve an important role in that they kind of reset the rhythm here. Um, they sit on the offbeat of, um, so on the offbeat of the kick, uh, meaning that they happen um, at the opposite point of the, the kick. Obviously the kick happens here and there. Um, so this step adds a lot of, of, of rhythm to this part of the track where some other elements aren't present. For example, we don't have any lead sounds here, uh, as you can see. So that nicely um, adds to the sequence. Now, the way I use resonators in this case was to kind of flatten out the mid-range a little bit. It's a very um, light effect, as I talked about. It, it's hardly noticeable, but it is there. And uh, I'll now play you with it one time and then without it. Oh. So that's with it, and now I'll play it without it. So you can hear that there's a slight difference in how the mid-range sits uh, in the track. Um, it gives a slight boost to the mid-range, and the way I set this up is um, I'll start off with a fully wet resonators here, and um, I'll dial in uh, the different the, the right note for it and I'll dial in all the notes that I want here as well and I'll dial in the volumes um, the way I want it and then I'll start playing with the decay. So let's turn the decay all the way up. So that's a very long decay as you can hear. Um, so now we have to kind of mix it in together with the original sound again. So to do that uh, we're going to turn the dry wet around 50 so you can hear both the, the original sound and um, our very long decay version of the resonators. And then we can start turning down the decay until it fits in the sound. And we kind of want to, to cut it away um, so that we can uh, no longer hear the, the, the kind of the tail after the sound. So the decaying part of the sound and for that I'm mainly focusing on the mid-range. Um, so if you're watching this on phone speakers you might not be able to tell that. Because um, your phone might not be able to reproduce it. But um, what you want to do is you want to make sure that once the sound stops playing. So right as the release here hits. Um, also the decay stops playing and then you want to chuck it in just a little bit. So just kind of for safety. Um, so let's say you're compressing it later like we're doing here. It doesn't get brought up uh, even more by the compressor. Um, and then you can play with the dry wet again. So you can, for example, if you want more high end, you can set the dry wet lower. This will give you more high end because it's less mid range to balance against. And you can go a lot higher to turn down the high end. So this adds a lot of like it adds kind of like a stable tone to um, the saw waves and to that noise, the noisy uh, high end of the saw waves, uh, and that's really helpful for these super saw steps 
um, especially in sidelines, because you do kind of want to keep the root note in there. Um, and therefore, it's obviously important that you select the right note and that your volumes are set up right. Um, the way you do that is just kind of by ear. Obviously, um, what I do is uh, first the root note, make sure that you set that right. And then I tend to use one uh, octave down and one octave up. And um, sometimes I'll even hint uh, or put a little bit of two octaves up in this case. As you can see, those volumes are a little bit lower here because um, I really wanted to focus on um, the high end here. So this is really boosting the high end. Uh, another cool thing here is obviously because there's a lot of high end and even some like lower bass almost being brought in here, that's going to push hard into the distortion and create more harmonics. Uh, and therefore it's going to again add to the mid range as well. And later, as you can see, we're actually taking away uh, a lot of that low end. So that's helping again um, bring in some of the mid range. Um, so th that's how I set up the resonators uh, in this particular case. Obviously, resonators is a very uh, versatile effect and I uh, encourage you to experiment with it. Um, but that's going to be it today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.